Hey, I'm Rita Ora, and I'm about to take you through my favorite Instagram photos. Well, sort of, kind of. This is amazing because this picture was basically taken at my friend's house. He's got a ball pit in his house. He is a crazy person and he's also one of my writers and producers. And I just thought, why not take this picture in a full head to toe Nina Ricci look? This is my mood of just having loads of balls around me. If you know, you know, colorful ones. Oh, you guys are so dirty minded. This was a moment I'll never forget. For anybody that knows me, they know I love my Mary J. Blige. I remember a time where I was in a studio and working and she was next door. And I obviously told the whole studio that I was obsessed with her apart from her. So someone really was my angel because they convinced her to come and say hi to me next door. And I completely lost my shit. She walked in and I completely just went, because I love her vocally, everything. She was a big, big part of me getting into music. So this is us at the Met Gala. I think in, I don't even know what year this is. I think this was last year, but look, me and Mary J. Blige, mama and Maida. This picture is me doing promo for Fifty Shades in Paris. So I thought we're in a coffee shop. I'm obviously wearing a major outfit because I love my looks. And yeah, this is basically me sipping tea. So, there comes a time where one must explain themselves, I guess. This was me topless eating a cake with the fur hat on. Don't really know how to explain this apart from I didn't want to put clothes on. <laughs> I wanted to eat my dessert after a long day and I had a furry slash Jamiroquai inspired hat. And this was basically me saying, why not? So, why not? I was really lucky enough to sing at the March of Our Lives, which was for the gun control in the US. I was truly moved because obviously being from the UK, it's completely different over here in the States. And I just really wanted to show my support. And I sang a beautiful song and everybody sang back. And I made a really emotional speech because I felt really empowered by just everybody just being there. And you know, just singing was awesome. So I hope that helped. Here's an amazing moment where we were filming a scene, me and Dakota, through the forests of Whistler. It was lovely because we had a moment where we were just looking out at the view and I just thought, I love you Dakota because I really was nervous about this movie and she really helped me through it. And it was kind of like a moment of clarity slash, should we be best friends? <laughs> slash her dog just you know, completely photobombing the whole picture. So it's really cool seeing things like this because you forget what you post on Instagram sometimes. And when you get reminded, it's kind of like, oh yeah, I remember that. I love you, Dakota Johnson, but this was a great picture for me for many reasons. So yeah, Mwah. Here's a picture of me and my mum on Christmas. And what's funny actually, because in this present here is a book of Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't know how many Christmases ago this was, but I love my mummy. And it was nice to just have a little moment. Here's a picture of me and my dad and my sister, obviously being in every picture because we did everything together. I think this picture really self explains everything. Me wanting attention and my sister not getting any. Poor thing, poor thing. I mean, I don't know if I really have to explain this. She's an icon. This is Donatella Versace, people. Hello! This is somebody who asked me to go to the Fashion Awards with them. And I not only wore Versace, I also performed Gianni Versace's, one of his favorite song, Freedom, at this award show. And it was an important night for me because one, I love Freedom, George Michael. And two, I got to sit next to the queen, which is Donatella Versace. I just wanted to know everything about Donatella because she has got the best story in the world. I think that that everybody should bow down to Donatella. Well, me and uh, one of my hairdressers love to like play dress up. And after a long day of shooting, I had this wig that I never really ended up using. And I thought it would be really awesome to take a picture of it because it's a gold wig that looks like it's made out of rock. And I just thought to myself, why not pose and look pretty and pretend to like get my groove on. And in reality, nobody really knows through these pictures that I'm a complete geek. 
I'm watching a movie and I'm in bed and I'm like, Dust Till Dawn, awesome film. And like Quentin Tarantino, George Clooney, we know the drill. And I'm just like, oh my God, who is the woman holding the snake? That's Salma Hayek, ladies and gentlemen. And then I saw her the next day at this Vogue party and I was like, oh my God, I have to take a picture with you because I fancy her so much. She's like so hot. And obviously I just thought to myself, you know what? When else am I going to ask for this photograph? And she looked at me and she said, can I take a picture with you? I was like, what? Yeah, you can. And then this was a picture off. So here we are being cute. Here is another picture of someone I love. Adriana Lima is the hottest woman or one of that I've ever seen and also extremely nice. And this was really funny because I met her that night and she was like, oh, I've got to go to New York in the morning. And I was flying to New York that night because I flew in for this, this Prada event. And I just said, hey, why don't you come on the plane with me? And she thought, okay, cool. So that night I gave her a free ride on the plane and we've become friends ever since. Love you, Adriana. This is me and my cute little dog Cher, who probably hates my guts because I haven't seen her in about three months. I know, I'm such a bad parent. But this was us at our better times. Oh, love you. I can't even see her in this picture. Shows you how much of a good parent I am. Thank you to everybody who's been skipping through my Instagram photos with me. I hope you liked them. And if you don't, you're crazy. But if you do, I love you.